My cherished child, I want you to understand that I am speaking directly to the depths of your soul. You need not fret over the daunting challenges, for I will attend to them. Just as the winds and tempests heed my command, so too will the storms of uncertainty in your heart find solace. Approach me now, and I will grant you the tranquility you yearn for. I shall soothe the restless anxieties and apprehensions that torment your thoughts. I long for tranquility in your days and calmness in your nights. Your blessings are abundant, yet at times you overlook them, giving undue weight to fears that shall never materialize or to individuals who wield no genuine influence over you. I implore you to remain composed, paying no heed to the noise of the world, idle chatter, or the intimidations of others, for I hold your fate in my hands. Even if legions rally against you, even if you must face the repercussions of your own missteps, fear not, for you are. My beloved child and I will protect you from harm, even in the midst of chaos, when those around you lose hope, be strong and fearless, for I will never abandon you. This is a profound testament of my love for you. I am speaking to you right now, reaching into your heart and addressing the doubts that have troubled your mind for so long, music. I love you, and I'm showing it to you at this very moment. I am removing the scars that others have left on you, the pain you endured at their hands. But know this, everything you have gone through has not been in vain today. You possess the strength, wisdom and maturity to listen and stand up for those you love. Your time of liberation has come. You are now ready to be a vest vessel of my love bringing my light to those in darkness. However, your enemies are aware of your potential, which is why they seek to cause trouble and steal your peace. If you allow them to disturb your sleep or if you lose your faith and sink into fear, Anxiety may once again overwhelm you, but remember this truth. My love for you is a measure, Mebel. My mercy is boundless, and my Holy Spirit will not allow you to be harmed. So believe that even if you stumble and fall, I will lift you up. Do not think for a moment that I have turned my gaze away from you. If you stumble into the snares of your enemies, I will rescue you. If your faith falters, and your heart is filled with negativity. I will continue to fight for you, cleansing your soul with my word. I will not let anyone lead you away from my love, whether it be swords or knives, scarcity or illness, conflicts or dangers, for in all these things, you are already victorious. You have turned away from evil and surrendered your heart to me, openly professing your faith in me as your savior and protector. Your loyalty is unwavering, unlike those who complain and deny me when faced with challenges, venting their frustrations recklessly. They disregard my love, but I continue to love them and never rest. I urge you to distance yourself from the wicked and keep praying for them. Do not let their disdain for my word influence you move forward. Persist. Do not stay where you are today. I bless you with incredible strength. March forward, confidently facing the enemies and challenges that come your way. You have grown. You are brave among the brave, a champion among champions. Start each morning by igniting your faith with my word, presenting your faith and request before me. Remember, nothing is impossible for me. I am by your side, ready to assist you in all things. Keep your composure and enjoy my peace for you are stepping into a supernatural life. Come, I am calling you. Your place is here in my presence. When you kneel down and pray with faith, reverence and respect. My armies will come to your aid today. I command you to remain. Calm, do not let your heart be troubled. Find solace in the loving embrace that envelops you tell. Me that you receive it, for I have chosen to bless you. You called out to me, and I shall answer your life is about to change, believe it. I am giving you a new heart, and those who know you will be amazed and receive unexpected help. Be thankful for many doors of blessing and new opportunities will open for you. Believe in these words and share them, never forget. To pray speaking to me is simple, just close your eyes and say, 
Lord, I need you and I will be by your side. Have faith for the truth is that my press press will never leave you unless you turn away from my grace or reject the blessings I bestow upon you. In times of confusion, do not open your heart to false teachings. Do not let hatred enter your heart and do not join in speaking ill of those who have done you no harm and are not your enemies. Do not believe everything you see, hear, or read. If someone speaks ill of another, do not be quick to believe them. Do not fall into the trap set by the enemy. My eyes seek sincere, loyal, and faithful hearts that love me and respect my laws. I am raising you up to inspire others to uplift your family and to share these divine words, not to partake in the sins of others. I earnestly ask that if you don't understand my words due to worries, take some time and listen again. Hear all my messages. It is my will that your heart comprehends this signal. I have sent you many times. You've asked for peace and tranquility, and I will grant them to you. But keep my words in your heart, and remember them. When the enemy, like a roaring lion, seeks to devour you and challenge your faith, my voice is your guide, your spirit receives it. My word illuminates your path and gives you the strength to conquer any situation. No enemy shall harm you if you remain. Vigilant with my word on your lips and in your thoughts day and night, when the wicked come against you, do not fear. I will give you strength, and by speaking these words with faith, all evil doers will flee. Your home shall be free from misery, scarcity, and illness. No one shall stand against you. For my word is a shield for your family. I want to see your heart on fire, your eyes wide open, and your mind awakened. You must be prepared to welcome numerous blessings and ideas. The time has come to conquer new territories to reap the rewards of your sacrifice and effort. Nothing you've experienced has been in vain. Everything in your life is working for your good, in your home, your family, and you will witness great miracles and understand, understand the purpose I have for each of you. I urge you to respect all, to not belittle anyone, regardless of their age status or past mistakes. Do not judge. Those whom I have forgiven support and help those you love grow by doing so. I will bless you even more, for I desire to pour blessings onto others through you. Rivers of living water shall flow from your heart to those you ints on counter on your journey. They will experience miracles, wonders, and healings through you. In your smile, they will find the hope they seek, and even those who do not follow me will come to realize that I am real and true, just as I have shown mercy to you. I will extend it to all who turn away from evil and come to me with sincere hearts. Today I am showering you with love, dispelling the dark clouds of despair and covering you with the shade of my grace step. Out of your home look to the sky, raise your arms and declare to the world, that I am your shepherd, your provider, and that you trust in me wholeheartedly, following my words faithfully. Until the end, do it now. Receive this healing anointing, feel the strength I give you, and do not fear or grow weary. Keep moving forward, sharing my word, and hold gratitude in your heart for all the blessings I bestow upon you. Tell me that you receive them with love. I see you struggling, unable to sleep, with thoughts racing through your mind. Know that you need not fear, for I am here with you dispelling the shadows of your past, releasing the burdens of your sins and healing. The wounds that remain, the chains that once bound, you are now forever broken. Look to the future with faith, for I am by your side always never to abandon you. Accept my truth, for I love you so profoundly that I sacrificed myself on a cross and rose with power so that you may have eternal life. Trust in my promises. I will guide you to the right path and close the doors that lead astray. Approach me with unwavering faith. And I assure you, my, my grace will be bestowed upon you. You are never alone or confused. I am just a prayer away. Wait with confidence for the blessings you seek but have not yet received. Know that you will hold them in your hands. Soon embrace my word and believe. Cry out to me with all your heart and I will answer. 
I will strengthen your spirit so that life storms no longer easily sway you. You will stand firm, unafraid of lies, false news, insults, or empty threats. If I tell you, you will believe you are not weak. You are strong. Break free from the prisons that others have constructed for you. Release the guilt of forgiven sins, clear your mind of needless conflicts, and don't allow negative emotions to take root. Let go of resentment and forgive. Those who have hurt, you do not dwell on the past. Your future is in my hands. I will ensure your chosen purpose is fulfilled. Miracles will unfold in your life and your family will also bask in my love. Your home is protected by the powerful blood that forgave your sins. Place your faith in me, open your mouth, and I will provide. I will sustain you with nourishment like honey from the rock and satisfy you with the, the finest wheat, my promises. Flow to you daily, and I am always ready to give you more fill. Yourself with these words that bring peace. Dawn, the shield that guards you from the assaults of evil. Let your family receive my promises, and may they feel the beauty of grace enveloping their hearts. Bringing them peace day by day, I will perform miraculous feats that may seem impossible to you. I will bestow health provision, freedom, and prosperity upon your loved ones. Who else can grant you this supernatural joy? Who else comprehends your thoughts and knows your true needs? Who else can fill you with this healing love and gentle tranquility, Am? No. I not the one who offered my life on a cross and rose to grant you salvation. I am the author of your days, the architect of your destiny and future. Nothing is beyond my reach. Many listen to the world's falsehoods, believing that I do not love them, that I am out to punish them. But I speak of my love and they doubt they prefer false. Notions that keep them imprisoned in disappointment but you, my. Dear child are hearing me now, and that signifies greet and wondrous things for you and your family. Mighty and marvelous blessings are on the horizon, and I want you to believe in this wondrous love, gent and benevolent patient and understanding, never easily angered, never keeping a record of wrongs, rejoicing in the truth, cling to this enduring love that believes all things, hopes all things, and bears all things, Hold fast to this love that never fails, for it is the crown of supernatural blessings already bestowed upon you. Love, hope, and faith. Of these three, the greatest is this love, and I will grant it to you eternally. Accept it and write with your own hand. I accept it each morning. Rise with determination and faith, for it brings joy to my heart. Do not be swayed by life's challenges, for you are not one to be easily discouraged, you reflect me so profoundly in your heart, resides a fervent desire to do what is right, to help and serve to keep your family united and harmonious, and to greet each day with my blessings at the first light of dawn. Continue in this way, do not lose that. Faith, your way of being is also your worship. Your praise, you are a good soul, and your actions resonate with me, exalting my name. I want more people to see someone like you, a person of unwavering faith who truly loves me. I admire you greatly. You have withstood the storms of life. You have not responded with hatred or resentment toward those false friends who harmed you and stole material possessions. But they could never steal the most precious thing. Your faith, your dedication, your unwavering commitment to follow my will, regardless of what comes, you are my beloved child, and that is beyond doubt. The word I have sown within you has borne abundant fruit, and there are still many blessings and gifts awaiting you. A splendid future lies ahead. Have confidence in my support in every circumstance. You can approach me with confidence and pour out your heart at my altar in any need. Even when doubt or error tempts you, I remain faithful. I will never forsake you. I envelop you with my presence wherever you are, with a multitude of heavenly armies ready and eager to assist you to grant you victory over any cruel adversaries who may challenge you to provide healing and to eliminate all afflictions. I will empower you to proclaim my word and the forces of darkness will crumble your life, your family, your health, your finances, 
all those under your roof, will experience freedom and live in victory. Your home will be illuminated by my glorious presence, and supernatural wonders will occur daily. You will be surrounded by families of good, hearted individuals, who will also be blessed by your compassionate spirit. I implore you keep being the person you are. Do not regress into disbelief. Seek me earnestly, learn and grow. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, which will reveal my affection to you day by day and embrace the peace, peace that fortifies you, my beloved child. I love you always. You thank me today for another day of life. So what are you waiting for? It costs nothing to part your lips and express your gratitude in your own words. I know your needs even before you voice them. Just trust come with me and spend moments of tranquility. Find a quiet space and contemplate all the reasons you have to be thankful today. Your life, your family, your health, the air. You breathe the food on your table, the shelter over your head. My supernatural protection around your home, where warrior angels camp and stand guard, watching over your dreams, ever ready to engage in battle. There are numerous reasons for you to feel blessed. You have so many beautiful motivations to ponder daily. So your mind mind is filled with positivity and your eyes are open to my goodness along your journey, imbuing you with the assurance that I hold your destiny in my hands. I reside in a grateful heart that acknowledges its dependence on me and seeks me with faith and hope, knowing it is abundantly blessed occasionally. I see you fretting over life's events, but that is only natural. Do not excessively worry you bear the weight of your responsible abilities. You desire all to go well for provision, to fill your home for your family's health, and for nothing or no one to disturb the peace and stability you crave. Yet there are days when darkness creeps in and you forget to be grateful. The enemy whispers injecting impure thoughts into your mind, transforming concern into fear, surrounding you with lies, converting fear into anxiety and despair. I watch and wait for you to raise your arms high and speak words that send the enemy fleeing. Give thanks for your life, your family, your health and all that you are and possess your sincere faith and grateful heart. Serve as shields, preserving you in times of tribulation. When you pass through the fires of trouble, I will be there beside your bed awaiting your awakening. I want to hear your first words each day, emanating from the depths of your grateful soul, proclaiming thank you. Thank you for life. Come to me today, even when you are not feeling well. Release the burdens you carry within. I will take those emotions into my hands, transforming them one by one. Sorrow into joy, remorse into peace, guilt into hope, and that shadow of DP impression that haunts your thoughts and compels you to listen to voices from the past that still deceive you. I am eradicating that depression for eternity. I am the Almighty God, and you are my beloved child who obeys, believes, and faithfully follows me today. I bestow upon you the freedom from all mental distress through the power of my shed. Blood healing and holiness shall come upon hearing, my voice complete. Health from head to toe is yours, right? Where you stand, rise up, collect your hopes from the ground and walk forward. Join me on this path that leads to the mountaintop of victory, the place of your triumph, the emotions, I am sowing in your heart, are being sealed by my Holy Spirit. The blessing I present before you is genuine, true. You are receiving it as long as you believe in me and my eternal word. You are not mistaken when you open your heart to your Heavenly Father who loves you immeasurably. You are not imagining this mighty and marvelous miracles are on the horizon for all who heed my words and dare to believe with humility and simplicity recognizing their faults, leaving evil behind, and resolving to march steadfastly forward without looking back. I love you, my beloved child. I yearn to heal you. Break your chains and obliterate every curse and spell that has ensnared you, deceiving you, into believing that someone in this universe wields greater power than me. It is the lie of lies. Heaven and earth tremble at the sound of my voice. The forces of evil crumble before me. 
No one in this world, whether human or spiritual, can oppose you, harm you, or inflict any harm upon you, for you are not alone. My arms encircle you, my holiness envelops you, and the power of my blood shields you day and night. No more sadness, no more pain, no more tears of despair. Accept and experience the peace and happiness I am granting you at this very moment. Tell me that you are receiving it. Declare your belief in me. Bend your knees and express your gratitude for the love and wonders that you are about to witness. I have good news for you. Something you've been eagerly awaiting. I will resolve every predicament that weighs on your soul. I will bless your family, your health and your finances. You are entering a season of recovery. Pay close attention, for I will guide you and provide instructions for everything you need to do to ensure that nothing is lost and everything prospers. Give me time and commit to bowing your knees and returning to my word. Decide once and for all to entrust me with your fears and burdens to fortify your soul with my presence and to listen to my voice in your heart filled with love. I want to lead you on a path of restoration so that you can reclaim all that has been lost. I want to hold your hand on the journey of peace and tranquility, so you can rediscover the happiness you long for and leave behind the troubles that once seemed insurmountable. I desire to free you from anxieties that have plagued your life to remove those fears from your mind. Do not cling to them, do not conceal them. I no longer want fear to influence you into making poor choices. You have paid a heavy price for your mistakes. But that ends today, I forgive your sins. I cleanse your soul, the burdens you have borne, our shattering guilt and uncertainty will be left behind. My desire, my beloved child, is to bless your life. My plans and purposes are for your good and well-being. Not everything will be effortless at times you will need to contend, but I will stand by your side, fortifying your spirit until the very end. If you believe, declare it, I believe. If you welcome me into your heart, announce it. I open my heart to you. If you permit me to rule your life, proclaim my God, you are my King and my Lord. Whenever you come to ask me for anything, come with assurance. My dear child, show me your faith. For your gratitude is the most beautiful gift you can offer in this sacred moment. We, we share together. Do not approach me with fear, for I will never reject you. Your sins have been washed away, paid for with my precious blood. You need not carry shame when you enter my presence, even when you were far from me forgotten. I extended my mercy to you. I sent thousands of angels to rescue you from the clutches of the evil one, removing every obstacle from your path. So you could find your way way back to me, will you? Return tomorrow, my beloved, will you bring me good tidings of the miracles? You've bitterness. It almost convinced you that you were worthless, inflicting wounds that appeared minor, but slowly bled your heart. You nearly lost your way, but you heeded my word, showed sensitivity, acknowledged your mistakes, and repented of your sins. Your prayer of repentance was a beautiful offering. Celebrated in the heavenly realms as you returned home today, fueled by your burning active faith, you forge your path in the battle for life. I rejoice in your conf confidence, your willingness to share your innermost thoughts and experiences. You taste the joy of living once more. Yet there are still hidden depths within your soul that need to be explored. Speaking with me each day will grant you strength, deepen your faith, and make you keenly aware of how I am lifting burdens from your shoulders. Your soul shall be light and happiness shall fill your being. You've heard my voice. Now speak to me. Do not hesitate to reveal all that resides within your heart, for I cherish you deeply. I am overjoyed to see you here. You come to receive affection and nourish your spirit with my words, and that is truly wonderful. You've already noticed changes within yourself, yet there are lingering concerns. That is why I am here. It is true that certain circumstances as can trouble you, causing your mind to race with thoughts that steal your peace. 
But remember, every morning you can come to prayer and find resolution, stepping out into your day. With happiness unburdened by the weight you no longer need to carry, reflect, my child. Reflect focus on the matters of utmost importance. You need not worry about things that will never transpire as long as I am your guardian. Do not fear I am. Forever by your side, I love you and watch over you, ensuring that you have all you need. Put your faith into action and to uplift your spirit. Come to me whether you kneel, sit, or lie on your bed. Close your eyes. And with gratitude in your heart, express thankfulness for your family, your job, your health. Sometimes you need not even ask, but I delight in your request and I want you to ask. With unwavering confidence, my ears are attuned to your voice and my angels. Eagerly await your petitions. They were created to obey my commands and serve you. You are my child, and I fill your life with grace, shower you with mercies. Indeed, you should ask of me, so ask. Do not fear to request the finest wheat, honey from the rock, the opening of the windows of heaven and an overflow of blessings. Exercise your faith. I possess the power to move mountains of sorrow, demolish obstacles of evil, and shatter the chains of sin. Vice and destructive habits ask me for all that is good, sweet, kind, and uplifting, even when the task seems insurmountable. If it contributes to your eternal growth and earthly well-being, ask me in my perfect timing. With boundless love, I will respond. I comprehend your trials, your anxieties, your desires. I am fully aware of your tears, your moments of despondency and solitude. That is why I shall never let go of your hand. I understand that you require me once more today. Not long ago you were filled with sorrow and despair, crying out, God, where are you today? I offer you this sign that I indeed hear you attentive to your needs. I am listening to you and I am demonstrating it. Though I cannot speak more plainly yet, that moment will arrive, persist in your daily prayers, sense my presence with you and seek to know me better. I am your father and my love is unwavering. Trust in me, for I do not deceive. I love you dearly and I desire your well-being, your strength, your enjoyment of every day. I grant you strength in your resolve. Prepare for this journey. That is why I shall continue to encourage you with words of inspiration and a message of love that I shall plant in your heart every morning. This is your time, your moment has arrived. You were born to attain victory. It was never my intention for you to live in defeat or despondency. I am aware that some around you have criticized you, making you feel inadequate, a failure and a loser, asserting that you will never succeed. However, their futile words hold no power and shall not alter your path. Victory lies within my grasp. I am your source of hope. Today, all negative thoughts, all pessimism, every sense of inadequacy shall dissipate my holy word, shall heal you, invigorate you, inspire you, and reignite your joy. It shall fill you with fresh dreams. This is how I wish to see you, wearing that beautiful smile you bear now, a heart overflowing with joy. Your life is not ending. Your journey is long, but it is filled with delightful surprises and good-hearted individuals. Respond to me, declare your faith in, in me. Declare your S worth and take my hand. Never letting go, I promise to love you unconditionally and care for you. The sacred love I bestow upon you is unassailable today. I shall visit your abode and alter your destiny. You called out to me in prayer with faith and sincerity, and that is why I have come to rescue you. I possess the power, and I am eager to, to employ it, the key to unlocking sorrow, demolish obstacles of evil, and shatter the chains of sin. Vice and destructive habits ask me for all that is good, sweet, kind, and uplifting, even when the task seems insurmountable. If it contributes to your eternal growth and earthly well-being, Ask me in my perfect timing. With boundless love, I will respond. I comprehend your trials, your anxieties, your desires. I am fully aware of your tears, your moments of despondency and solitude. 
That is why I shall never let go of your hand. I understand that you require me once more today. Not long ago you were filled with sorrow and despair, crying out, God, where are you today? I offer you this sign that I indeed hear you attentive to your needs. I am listening to you, and I am demonstrating it. Though I cannot speak more plainly yet, that moment will arrive, persist in your daily prayers, sense my presence with you, and seek to know me better. I am your Father, and my love is unwavering. Trust in me, for I do not deceive. I love you dearly, and I desire your well-being, your strength, your enjoyment of every day. I grant you strength in your resolve. Prepare for this journey. That is why I shall continue to encourage you with words of inspiration and a message of love that I shall plant in your heart every morning. This is your time, your moment has arrived. You were born to attain victory. It was never my intention for you to live in defeat or despondency. I am aware that some around you have criticized you, making you feel inadequate, a failure and a loser, asserting that you will never succeed. However, their futile words hold no power and shall not alter your path. Victory lies within my grasp. I am your source of hope. Today all negative thoughts, all pessimism, every sense of inadequacy shall dissipate my holy word, shall heal you, invigorate you, inspire you, and reignite your joy. It shall fill you with fresh dreams. This is how I wish to see you, wearing that beautiful smile you bear now, a heart overflowing with joy. Your life is not ending. Your journey is long, but it is filled with delightful surprises and good-hearted individuals. Respond to me, declare your faith in, in me. Declare your S worth and take my hand. Never letting go, I promise to love you unconditionally and care for you. The sacred love I bestow upon you is unassailable today. I shall visit your abode and alter your destiny. You called out to me in prayer with faith and sincerity, and that is why I have come to rescue you. I possess the power, and I am eager to, to employ it, the key to unlocking. Miracles lies in your faith, yet I also cherish you. And regardless of your circumstances, I shall always be by your side. You are suffering and require my assistance, my love that soothes and heals devoid of judgment, my tender presence that embraces you, Silently, without reproach, you need my listening ear one that patiently hears your every word without inter interruption speak the truth. My child, you yearn for me, and that is a fact. Your own strength has reached its limits now. Is the time to acknowledge your need. I understand that you and your family traverse a harsh desert where isolation withers hope and your soul thirsts for love. Amidst neglect, the journey is arduous and hot. Stones cause you to cry out in pain. I comprehend your feelings. It is challenging to continue walking, believing that even amidst this suffering, my hand upholds you. Yet I have come to shield you from the adversaries who assail and harm you. Everything you endure today is a process of purification just as gold only shines when it passes through the fire so too shall you shine, cleansed of the negative traits that still linger within you. I want you to let go of anger, vanity, fear, doubt, and lack of faith. Never look back for nothing from your past can compare to the joy that lies ahead. I wish for you to scour your life for both small and significant blessings to journey with a clear conscience, carrying my virtues in your heart. You are of immeasurable worth. Your family is priceless and your future holds greater value than money, possessions, houses, professions, jobs, fame, or popularity. Do not fear the loss of material things and do not shed tears for them. Prioritize what truly matters. I come to you with a heart full of love and care. I want to be close to you to guide you and to fulfill your needs. Seek me with all your strength for I am your provider today. I want to bestow upon you the blessed blessings you require, and I will fill your life with true abundance. I promise to open many doors for you and to place good opportunities before you. Blessings will pour down upon you abundantly like a gentle rain that nurtures the earth pay, 
close attention to what unfolds around you. Even when you face obstacles, that may seem insurmountable, remember? I can turn the most challenging situations into opportunities for growth and abundance. As you receive my gifts and talents, seek guidance in my words. Use them to enhance your life and the lives of those around you. But do not be swayed by the allure of material possessions or the temptations of fame. Do not burden yourself with unnecessary debts for vanities. Instead, focus on what truly matters and let your spiritual life ascend to greater heights. I invite you to learn from my words and deepen your connection with me. I will reveal many wondrous miracles in your life. If you open your heart to receive them, take good care of your health and your family matters. Do not procrastinate, for I have given you the strength and intelligence to resolve various situations today. I do not want you to be overwhelmed at the last moment or to crumble in frustration. Rise up, be courageous and act with determination. For you will not lose anything by following my guidance, even if you face opposition or resistance from others, as you seek to improve your situation and make good choices. Place them in my hands, pray for them, but do not be swayed by their advice or complaints. Those who choose, choose paths leading to darkness, cannot offer you true assistance. Know that I am with you in all things, but I ask that you place me first in your heart. By doing so, not only will I help you, but I will also prosper you and bestow blessings upon you that are more precious than gold, even in moments of weariness and despair. I will reignite your desire to live, strengthen you, and lift you from the ashes. Those around you in future generations will witness the abundant blessings I have bestowed upon you. I will clothe you in honor, cleanse your paths, and fill your home with my glory. Believe in my promises, for they will surely come to pass. My child, I love you deeply, and I long to enter your home and perform a great miracle in your life. I am here at the door, calling to you. Will you open the door and allow me to make something new, marvelous, powerful, and supernatural happen in your life? I see your situation, and I will never let scarcity reach your home. My touch upon your family will bring forth a rain of blessings that will nourish your home for many years to come. You have been faithful to me for a long time. You have prayed fast and wept and placed me first in all your actions and thoughts. The time to reap the fruits of your faithfulness is approaching. I will fill your home with abundance, happiness, courage and health. Rest assured for everything I have promised you. I will fulfill Prepare yourself for a great change and do not cling to the ways of the past, filled with worry and discouragement. With my blessing comes wisdom, power, and the ability to make wise decisions to care for what I entrust to you be grateful and trust for. I am transforming your life, and soon you will encounter many opportunities you have swanned seeds of faith in your heart for a long time. Even in the midst of great difficulties and trials, you never doubted my power, and you never doubted my presence by your side. That's why you have overcome, and that's why I have helped you. Today I will make those seeds bear abundant fruit in your life and in the lives of those around you. The rewards of your faithfulness are near, and what I will bring to your home is far greater than you can imagine. You deserve the best and much more. Your faith is precious and your humble, simple attitude will carry you far. Get ready, for I will open new doors, and you will discover new horizons. Abundance will flow into, to your home. I love you, my child. How are you today? No problem will overcome you. As long as you remain steadfast in faith, knowing that I hold your future in my hands, all your provisions come from me. I am the one who blesses your life. Stay in my presence. Find shelter under my loving, embrace in moments of anxiety. Come to me and you will find peace. Do not let the enemy deceive you into thinking that your problems are, are insurmountable. My power, combined with your faith, is immense place. Your trust in me, not in the ways of the world. Your strength comes from me alone, and I am the only one who can sustain you. 
strengthen you, expand your vision, and increase your happiness. When your faith wavers, remember the times when you called out to me in your pain, when you felt abandoned, I came to lift you up to show you how much I love, love you, and I have continued to demonstrate it ever since. Do not doubt now when you are so close to realizing many things. It's not the time to stop or let doubt cloud your thoughts. When challenges arose in the past, it was often because you acted without thinking, without reflecting, without praying. You wanted to distance yourself from me, but I never distanced myself from you. So entrust all your, your burdens into my hands and may your soul be at peace today. I fill your heart with courage so that you can go where you need to go. Speak to those you need to speak to and stand up for what is right. I will be with you and your dreams will come true. I am your almighty God. And with me, you have everything I love you and I am here. You have called out to me in moments of desperation and I am here to offer you comfort and to answer your prayers, your unwavering faith and your heartfelt prayers are precious to me and I will bless you abundantly. I know your needs even before you speak them, but I delight in hearing your prayers for they are like sweet incense that rises to the heavens and touches my heart. Your strong, unshakable faith and your knowledge of my love for you should bring peace to your heart. Your prayers will be answered answer and you and your family will no longer suffer these kinds of problems. I will grant you wisdom and your discernment will grow stronger. Have faith move forward and seek the blessings I have prepared for you. I will place in your heart the names of people you must reach out to perhaps you haven't seen or spoken to them in a long time, but I am sending you to them because through them I will bless you and you will also be the answer to their, their prayers. That's how I work. My dear child, my blessings are bestowed upon all who hold faith in me and seek me with genuine sincerity. A grand opportunity is unfolding in your life, one of such magnitude that humility must be your constant companion to ward off the allure of pride in the days ahead. Engage with your Bible, delve into my sacred teachings, and let your faith flourish ever stronger. Sense your confidence ascend as you draw near to me each morning, eagerly listening and cherishing the words I impart to you. Cling tightly to my promises, holding them dear within your heart. Your prayers, when offered with earnestness, wield tremendous power. Persist in your prayers, my beloved, for when you remain grounded, you indeed reach the celestial realms with your beautiful disposition. My hand shall gently stroke your head with affection and the entire realm of heaven shall resound with Amen to your heartfelt supplications. Now, my child, venture forth into your day with courage, knowing that my angels accompany you and my love envelops you entirely. I love you. Amen.